How's it going YouTube? So today I want to talk about the Steam Boxes and Steam OS and just my thoughts on it. So before we start the video I do want to say that I may be a little bit biased because I come from console gaming. Uh, I have an Xbox One currently. So some of the stuff I may be biased about. So starting now let's just talk about the Steam Box. So a little while ago, I think it was a couple months ago, um, Valve released their Steam Box, Steam OS, and then kind of like talked about it. And really, the Steam Boxes are going to be third party. They said so a lot of these computer manufacturers are going to be making these Steam Boxes, and Valve's going to be making a Steam OS, and they also made a controller. So let's start. Let's talk about the controller first because it's probably the weirdest one they have. There's no sticks on the controller. It's all touch input and it looks really weird and you can't always judge it. You probably want to test it out first, but it looks really weird. And they also said that every game is not meant for this controller. So it kind of seems like you might need a new controller depending on the game or it might not function well or you might have to just go with the keyboard and mouse in your living room, which that's the whole point of the Steam Box is to put in your living room. And I, the reason why people go PC gaming, one, for the graphics, and then another one is you can do a lot more with it than just play games. You can do your homework on it, you can surf the web, you can do all these high intensity applications, and also you can use your mouse and keyboard which gives you really good pinpoint accuracy. And by putting it in the living room, you take away most of that features. You can't... Um, do these high intensity applications like Photoshop, video editing, and all that stuff. So that's taken out. And Valve is um, trying to encourage no keyboard or mouse. So you'd have to use their controller or possibly like a PS4, Xbox One controller, 360, something like that. So that's just like that. And the um, prices of these Steam boxes are going to be just as much as a regular PC. So you're losing a lot of functionality. And yes, they do have a web browser, but I saw some of the tests of it. It's not that great. I know it's still the Steam Box and Steam OS is still in beta, but still, you're not going to be able to do some of these tasks that you need to do that you normally do on your PC. The other thing is the Steam OS. When you, if you want to get it, you can actually install it now. If you're a PC, you want to put it on and put it in your living room and all that. It's free, which is nice. So. It's open to anybody to download it and install it, which is good like Android does. But it's running Linux. So the problem with Linux is, well, the good thing is it's free. But the problem is not all games support it. So I went on Steam and most of, their, most of these bigger games don't support Linux. Although that could change in the future. And I'm not a tech programmer. I don't know all this stuff and how to program a game. I don't know how easily that would be to start making these games work on Linux too. But I think it would just take longer because first you got to program for... These developers program for the Xbox, PlayStation, possibly the Wii U. And then you got the 360 and the PS3 too. And then you got the PC on Windows. And then sometimes they make it for Mac. Now you gotta make it for the Steam OS for Linux. I think that would cost that would cost them a lot of extra time. So I don't know if there's a real demand for these Steam boxes. I'm not sure, but it would be nice to see these really high-end graphics cards like the Titan and some of these other ones in your living room, actually on your TV. But really, if you really wanted it on your TV, you can do that right now. You can just plug in through HDMI right to your TV and you can use your uh, 360 controller or a PS4 controller and basically that's a Steam Box so I'm not sure why they need to do this Steam OS and Steam Box well you can do a Steam OS but like these Steam Boxes I'm not sure if I see the demand and the need for these boxes but let me know if you guys see this and you guys really want a Steam Box because if I really wanted to go PC and get these high-end graphics and do all these other features I probably just buy a big desktop PC upgrade it don't have to worry about overheating but these boxes are really small so trying to get that heat I'm sure they can figure it out but like when you upgrade it you are gonna have to make sure that there's no questioning about overheating 
and with a box a dedicated box like a desktop with a full tower and all that you don't have to worry about it as much as you would with a steam box and being so condensed so I don't know some of these steam boxes are going to be coming out in 2014 so I'll keep my eye on them um, there's still a lot of news to be released and more information about how this is all going to work and if it does work it'll be kind of interesting so I'm kind of excited because I do, I do like technology so it would be nice if they can have another third party uh, instead of just Xbox, PlayStation, and I guess you can consider Wii, so that would be 4 with a Steam box, but I'm not really sure. Um, leave me in the comments on what you think, if you're, gonna, if you're excited for these, uh, if you're going to buy one, and as of right now, it would be cool, but I'm not seeing the need or the stuff that it can, it can really do for me. So that's the end of the video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and like so you don't miss out on future content and gameplay. And I'll see you next time.